Hi, it's Gwen from Hummingbird Tarot. Today I'm doing a video in the series of the RWS verses. And the purpose of this is that I like to sit down and compare a deck that's based on a Rider Waite Smith against the Rider Waite Smith and just see where the images are the same, where they're different. And this is something that I typically do every time I get a deck that is based on Rider Waite Smith. And so I thought it would be interesting to share with you. The decks that I'm looking at today are the Tarot of the New Vision against the Universal Weight Tarot deck and I'm going to be doing a flip through of the deck and then I'll do be reviewing it as I go throughout the video. And if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified every week when I upload a new video. So this deck actually surprised me. Um, I'll get into that in a minute but you've got you know your standard tuck boxes here. The um, cardstock on the Tarot of the New Vision is a little thinner than the Universal Weight, which is already thin. And I can see that from my perspective because this stack is a little taller. It's very close. If I can comp compare the two here, you can see this is just a scotch taller. Not a huge fan of the back of the deck. The detail is hard to see, but it's the Knight of Cups in there. There's your back. Both decks come with your traditional little white book. This also has several other languages in it, so it's not very thorough as far as what it goes into. And only a small portion of this is in English. So this deck, the Tarot of the New Vision, looks at things from the opposite perspective. So this is looking at it from the front. The Tarot of the New Vision goes to the back side of the Fool and is taking a photograph of what's happening there. This deck really caught me by surprise. There are a lot of details that I wouldn't even have considered on the other side of the scene. And this deck is actually pretty dark in some of the cards. So we'll get right into it. So you can see there's a volcano going off there. And I love the detail is spectacular. Let me come a little closer with this so you can see. Look at all these people standing there. I always thought he was alone. And then you've got all this, and then the little monkey standing there. And there's additional tools on the ground as well. And then there's more people on either side in the back here. And an owl. And the curtain has fallen a little bit. Children behind there and a gate with a pathway. A turtle and all the people that he's facing. It's just interesting, all the detail. Almost every scene was a nice surprise for me. And I have shared this before. I do put clothes on my cards. I have a younger audience and I like everybody to be able to watch and, and not have the filters, not to have to deal with the filters. I love the, the clouds up in here. And then there's a snake sneaking up that she's not noticing. Another snake. The women fighting over the baby is what it looks like to me. The curtain has fallen. The curtain has fallen. This one was the most, dis it was disturbing to me when I saw it. I mean, it, obviously you can't get in this position by yourself, but having, it almost feels like a, the crucifixion or something with how angry all these, this mob is surrounding him or her. And this one too. Oh, the person in the and this in the back. So 
a man coming at them. Just such a different way. Such different energy from the original. It's like a whole brand new deck of cards. I would have loved to have a book coming with this one that gives a little bit more, I don't know, the motives of why they made the choices they did. I love how it's almost like the grandparents are looking on them with adoration from above. But some of the rationale for choosing the images that they chose and the fireworks in the background, so much more energy in this card than this one. This one seems just very calm. It's a very calm choice. And this is, this seems a little more difficult to leave. And all this happening behind the table. This is interesting that there's two people there. Again, I would have said that this person was alone. Yeah, I'm super curious about the choices they made and why they made them. This one was a little disturbing for me too. Hmm. Not seeing what's coming at you in the dark and death coming up, which makes sense. And some of them like this one are pretty straightforward and then you look a little closer and they're standing on a head. And this, this is less violent. You look at this, the house is on fire and there's men on foot going after who knows what. Hopefully it's other soldiers and not civilians. The boat in the background. I didn't like this either, the baby laying there on the ground. It's a little disturbing to me. Like I said, this deck is a little darker than I was expecting and it caught me off guard. And it's definitely interesting. Uh, I love decks that give me the feels, either good feels or bad feels or make me feel something. And this one definitely did. And this person, I always thought they were kind of alone, but clearly in this one, he's just leading everyone else. All the angry faces. Look at this angel with the arrow. This one too is like, whoo, you know, I'm still standing. It's been a tough fight, but you got a bear coming your way. So dark. And this one too, these, these don't look like enemies. These look like people coming in peace and the, the knight is charging them. I found that a little disturbing too. There we go. Maybe a grandmother with a grandchild or a grandmother with another woman from the village.
This one's interesting that he's not working alone, that he's got a companion here that's also working. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next time around.